Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let's go through inductor filter. So basically in the previous tutorial, we have learned what is a filter and its types. So now let us go through one after the other in each tutorial. So inductor filter, the diagram will be something like this. So in this, we'll be finding an inductor. This is an inductor. So it is denoted by the symbol L. So basically an inductor function is to block AC and allow DC. Okay guys. So it's going to block AC and allow DC to the load so that we gonna get the large amount of output will be the DC content. So we will be giving the input is the output of the full wave rectifier as an input. Okay. So when the output of a rectifier passes through an inductor, it blocks the AC component and allows only DC component to reach the load. Yeah, this is what I have just told you. So the ripple factor of an inductor filter is given as this symbol that is nothing but the ripple factor symbol is equals to RL by 3 root 2 WL. So from this you can say that the ripple factor increases if RL is more right and ripple factor decreases if L the inductance is more. Okay guys so that's what I have just written here in terms of statement it shows that the Ripple factor will decrease when L increases and RL decreases. To analyze the filter for a full wave rectifier, we will be using a Fourier series guys. This is a Fourier series expression for the inductor filter. So I have no idea that how we got this equation guys, sorry for that. And basically from the full wave rectifier, we can say VDC is equals to 2VM by pi. Okay. So 2vm by pi minus we took only the first term neglecting all the next further two terms. So we got this equation. Okay. So we know that this uh, ripple factor is equals to vrms by vdc. So vrms that's what I have just right directly written it guys. I have no idea that how the proof has just gone but I have just written the answer directly. As if I do not have any clarity on this. So that's the reason why I have just written it directly. So in case of load resistance, if it is infinity, if the load is infinity, then we will be giving the answer as 2 by 3 root 2 that is equals to 0 0.471. So that will be the case if RL is infinity. Okay guys, so now I hope everyone got at least a bit of idea on inductor filter. Sorry for this proof guys, I have no idea that how that has happened, sorry for that. And if you want a diagram of what is the input that we gave and what is the output that we got, this diagram clearly explains you that guys. So basically the input is full wave rectifiers output and the output from the filter is something that at some height that is nothing but 2vm by pi, at that height it will be a this type of wave. That is nothing but almost a DC power. That is nothing but DC voltage or something like that. So now I hope everyone is now 100% clear. Not 100% guys because you are not good with the equations. So at least a bit of idea on this topic. So in the next tutorial we will be going through capacitor filter. Thank you. Thanks for watching.